everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to properly break down a whole chicken into eight different pieces. And I'm also gonna show you some different ways that you can utilize the scraps from the chicken because we wanna make sure that we have all of it and we use all of it. All right, so we're going to separate our chicken into eight different pieces. If you look at our chicken, we have the two breasts, the two wings, the two drums, and on the back end, we have our two thighs. We also are going to be using our Norwex cutting board. If you look, it has a channel that goes around the entire cutting board that's going to collect all of the blood and juices and keep our workplace clean. So let's get to it. We're gonna grab our knife. We're gonna turn our chicken so it's facing us. And you're going to pinch in between the legs and the breast. And you're going to make a small incision on each side. Now, deboning a chicken and breaking it into, into its different parts is all about knowing joints. So if you uh, don't like the sound of bones popping, cover your ears now. You're going to take your thumbs and you're going to press it all the way in and you're just going to take your thigh and drum portion and you're going to bend them until it exposes the bone on each side. From there, we're going to turn our chicken onto its back, and we're going to hold our drums and thighs together. Next, we're going to make an incision from one side of the chicken all the way to the back, following that drum and thigh bone. From here, you just follow that groove right past the bone. And now to the other side. Next, we're gonna take off our two wings. So again, we're gonna hold our wing. And if you look, you can see that's right where that joint is. So you take your knife and go right through that joint and your wing comes free. To the other side. Again, we're gonna look for that joint, which is right here. Our knife will go right through. Our final part we're going to do is take apart our breast bones. So what we're going to do is we're gonna flip it so it's standing straight up, and we're going to slice right down in half. Now at this point, you need to put a little bit of pressure on the knife to fully get through the bones. If you have a meat cleaver at home, you could use this also to get it separated, but if you have a nice sharp knife, it shouldn't be too much trouble. So now we have our breast, and we have our back portion. We'll put the back portion off to the side for later. We'll use that for stock. Next, to fully finish our breast, you can either de-skin it or leave the skin on. Um, I'm gonna actually take the skin off. So to, the, to, to do that, you just take your thumb and just work it all the way across the chicken breast and that skin should come off. Pretty easy. Next, we're gonna flip it upside down here. We're going to take our knife again, and we're going to go right down the middle of that breastbone. Again, putting a little bit of pressure on it for the initial cut. So for our breasts, you can either leave that backbone in place, or you can take it out. Whichever way you prefer is fine. We're going to take it off, though. So what you can do is just get under that bone using your fingers and work it away from the meat. All the way down. When you get towards the end, use your knife. Slice it off. And then at the very top, to cut part of that wishbone out.
So for our drums and thighs, you can either leave it connected, that's called a leg quarter, otherwise we can separate it. And separating it is very, very easy. Just flip it on its back here, and you can see on both of these, there's a little fat line that runs all the way down the thigh and the drum. That's where your joint is. So you're gonna take your knife, you're just gonna follow that line straight down. And then to our other one, follow that fat line straight down. If it gives you a little bit of trouble, a little bit of pressure, As you can see, this is our fully broken down chicken. We have our drumsticks and our thighs, our two wings, our two beautiful breasts, and these are the scraps. And what you can do is you can add all this to some water in a stock pot, boil it for a few hours um, on low, and that'll turn into some delicious chicken stock that you can use for other dishes.